Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna learn how to turn these uh, grease pencil strokes, you know, like very loose grease pencil strokes, into um, something like this, you know, like a very tidy layout, and into something like this if you want it to be 3D. So let's just get started um, from scratch. I'm using Spreadshock add on in Blender. And this is actually pretty simple. I think I did something similar in the past, but I'll do it again anyway. Maybe it's uh, slightly different now. So let's say you are you want to draw like um maybe like a, some kind of comic books, and normally uh, you want to draw some some kind of layout, and you can use like ruler and. I don't know if it if you're doing it digitally, maybe you have uh, the tool that's already doing it for you, but maybe you want to do it using Blender, um, perhaps. So I'm thinking maybe we can do it this way, you know, like um, using grease pencil, making sure every stroke is a. Uh, you can think of it like a like a straight line uh, to keep it simple. So I have this, and each one of them is kind of intersecting, but you know that. Uh, at some point, we're gonna clean it up, and we're gonna get a like a pretty good um, polygonal uh, layout. So let's get started. So we have this uh, grease pencil strokes. Um, each um, every strokes is actually laying on a on a flat plane, so that's perfect for us because we're gonna work in two D in a way. So with Spreadshop um, Node three created, the next thing we want to do is just to hit control space and we can have this uh, we can use this a uh, GP uh, GP plus grease pencil setup and we just get the grease pencil and make sure it's active frame and we don't need to have this uh, resampling uh, it's it's up to you if whether you want to use resampling or not but in this case I really gonna delete one two three and what I'm gonna have is this uh, just two two point for each strokes because I know that uh, the strokes uh, are supposed to be like a uh, straight lines okay now we are we're starting to get something um, and from here we just wanna clean up a little bit so I'm gonna save this SVGP layout I, I call it um, I'm gonna use intersect edges nodes but this node actually require um, every vertices data to be a single data, so we need to join all the edges first. So mesh join. And let's see what we have now. Uh, I'm gonna turn on this um, double as well, so it's gonna merge double for the vertices. So we have this um, very nice lines now and they are kind of ready to be uh, like a proper layout if we try using fill holes perhaps vertices edges and as a result we're gonna get a polygon edges we might need to increase the, the number of side and in this case that's exactly what we need seven sides maximum and we can bake this and then have a look at the result. Uh, we don't see the result here, but if you go to wire, draw all edges, you can see our lay layout is uh, complete. And you can see this is the original and this is the, the result. The lines is kind of straight. Actually, the, the corner here, you might want to snap it. Um, oh, there's actually, here, there's a bit uh, of gotcha there. You see the points? There's an extra points there. We we need to clean it up as well. So delete delete loose should be good for this. So it's gonna delete all the leftover points. And there's also uh, one more thing that uh, we can do here with our um, with our lines before we mesh join it. We can perhaps uh, use the um, vector math and kind of round it I'll show you what I mean so with vector math there's one operations called round to s digit 
and I often use this if I want to make um, to straighten this uh, this lines. For example, the top. You see, now the the line is kind of straight vertically and horizontally. If you want that, um, feel free to use this. Um, sometimes you don't need to do this, but yeah, like in, see in this case, by making this straight, maybe we lost one of the lines. Um, they're probably not not good idea. But uh, although sometimes you do want to have the the top lines to be straight, you can of course do it manually. Like if you go to edit mode and turn on snapping. Make sure the top is kind of snapping somewhere. Actually, maybe scale it in y directions until it's zero out. But I kind of like it a bit loose. You know, you don't need to have this uh, round. So back to original, and you can have a lot of freedom. Actually, see, I'm drawing again, like a quick layout. Maybe this is gonna be like a some kind of map or layout for a house. Um, at some point, of course, I want this to be like um, some kind of algorithm. Do it, do this for me, automatically. Do all this slicing, but sometimes algorithm can be kind of tricky to create. Um, you you have to really understand some coding. It is it has um, some kind of artistic. Um, Merit, I guess. Uh, by doing the algorithm, you you will actually learn something, you know. Like, um, but sometimes you don't. Uh, you just wanna do it by hand, maybe. Just you know, draw some kind of layout. Um, I know some kind of algorithm that can do this, like a very neat algorithm. But here, I can do it by hand and kind of doing it very loosely and then I can get quite interesting pattern anyway in the end and uh, sometimes you need to increase the number of sides sometimes it doesn't quite work maybe you need to add more lines but yeah it's very interesting I think you kind of know the limitations maybe this can be maybe the setup can be better as well Sometimes, if you go too high, it doesn't work. Then fine, you know. Try drawing it again. There's a lot of flexibility here. And you have lots of freedom. See, this one works really well. So this is, I guess, that's a pretty good result. And I can bake it. Um, and we get a result. And of course, with this guy, we can also, um, if we like, let's say, um, separate face or polygon um, polygon boom is actually separating all the polygons once again if you like to do that so this if you bake this you're gonna get each and separate polygon face if that's what you want or or you can use the um, polygon extrude separate faces Maybe in order to get some kind of a, like a layout outlines, yeah, something like that. Um, other polygon, yeah, something like that. You know, like just the board, just the border, or just the frame. You can scale it, or maybe you want to extrude it. You know. Extrude it like so. So that will work as well. So yeah, this is uh, that's pretty much it. Actually, not too hard. It's very easy to understand. You start with a grease pencil and then make sure you draw each strokes separately. Don't don't make it continuous lines. And each stroke is gonna be straight edges. And then you use this. Um, UV connection, whatever, and then you get the edges, and then you join all the edges, and then you intersect the edges, and then you fill hole, delete loose, and if you want, you can extrude it, but you can have this kind of layout design.
very very quickly and from here you can design like a like a wall maybe like a floor and the rooftop I don't know just some kind of layout can be for anything can be for drawing a comic as well so yeah that's pretty much it thanks again for tuning in to Venusushi um, I'll see you in the next video thank you bye